Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be attempting to repair cracked, damaged carbon fibre. So this is the part here, it's a carbon boot lid for the Pulsar GTIR, and you can see the damage here. It is like this spider web cracking, it's almost like um, shattered glass, which is almost what it is, where this hasn't been packed very well and in transit something's hit this edge and the resin and the clear coat has basically chipped. So you'll see the same thing on your splitters and things like that or on your bonnets if you get stone chips or if you hit the road if your car's low, same thing. So in theory, if you're patient, all you need is like a sharp knife, some masking tape, sandpaper of various grades from fairly coarse to very fine and resin and clear lacquer if you want to kind of go to that step um, but in theory we should be able to get this looking brand new again so we'll see in this video whether that is possible but the first thing we need to do basically is we're going to mask off this area here so we don't go too far when we're sanding and things like that and then using our knife and using some sandpaper we're going to try very gently to sand this back to get this smooth and flat and get rid of some of these kind of spider cracks without going into the cloth. Okay, so about 20 minutes of sanding with 400 grit paper and you can see here I mean, it's looking a lot better but you can see here there's a few little areas where we've actually started to touch the cloth it's really hard not to hit the cloth unfortunately um, so we'll have to see how that looks when we get the resin on so let's start adding a few coats of resin and seeing how bad that kind of cloth damage is hopefully we'll get away with it but let's find out Okay, so that's one coat of resin and you can see, hopefully, that it's looking pretty good now. So I'm going to go and add two more coats of resin, not going to film that. Uh, and then we'll come back when it's all cured so we can do the sanding. It's important to add a few coats of resin, nothing too thick though, so that it's like too much to sand off. But you need to add a few coats so that it's a bit proud, so you can sand it all back flat so the whole uh, area is all the same sort of um, height. Anyway, I'll do that back in a SpongeBob. Alrighty, one day on and the resin has now cured three coats of resin and you can see hopefully it's not perfect there's still a few little spider marks in it but it's a lot better than it was of course so now plan is to I'm going to move the masking tape a little bit out so I can kind of feather in the sanding but it's just going to be wet and dry sanding now just to get the whole thing uh, flatted off. So uh, let's do that. So that is our 240 uh, sand now and you can see it's pretty smooth see a few little kind of high spots still and it's not perfect I'll be honest it's not perfect and for me that annoys me but 
We'll carry on now. So we're going to do from 240, we're going to go to 400, 800, 1200, and then if I've got any 2000, do a little bit of 2000, then we'll see how it looks when all the sanding has been done. So quick montage. Right, so now it's sanded to 2000 grit and it's lovely and smooth now. And this is still just a little bit damp. So now we're going to do polishing compounds. So we're going to start with a medium polish and then less of a medium polish and then a fine polish. And then we're going to go with some uh, ceramic from Purest. But, uh, yeah, let's apply that and then see how it looks. So there we go, that is the polishing done. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of this stuff, the protection ceramic from Purest. I love these things. Um, and that should give it a really nice kind of shine. Uh, and then that should be it. And there we go, we are done. It could do with another cut, I'll be honest, and a polish, but where the damage was, here, if you can see that okay, I mean, you'd have to know that it had been damaged and you'd have to know what you were looking for to be able to sort of see anything here, really. Um, it's pretty good. And even though here I went through to the cloth fairly badly to be honest in the odd little spot it's actually with the resin it's um covered it pretty well and sort of you know you can't really see light reflecting weirdly off the weave so not perfect but decent result and i think if it's in an area where you're not really going to see it especially if it's like a splitter or something you know this could work very very well um, it's not very difficult to do it doesn't cost a lot of money um, but it is a bit time consuming and the most horrible bit and the bit that I haven't managed to get right yet on anything that I've done when I've been looking about with carbon fiber is not going through with the sandpaper to the fiber itself to the cloth never managed it so I think you're very 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 lucky if you've got to repair carbon and it's that high up in the resin or the clear coat that you can kind of get rid of it without going too close to the cloth. Um, yeah, sadly, that is the problem with repairing carbon fiber is that it's so easy to go through to the cloth itself. And when you do, yeah, you can get away with it. I've got away with it here, but it's hit and miss as to whether you will get away with it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully, uh, some of you may have found it useful. Uh, on to the next video, which I'm not sure what that will be or when that will be, because I'm waiting for stuff uh, for both cars. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching.